Madurahim, Assalamu alaikum. I am Ikram al Haq Subject Specialist, and you are watching my YouTube channel English with Ikram. Dear students, today I am going to discuss some more MCQs based on general grammar. Ita, MDK, NAST, NTS, SS students, who will be test in any test, whether it is a job or whether it is an admission, English based grammar based test is very important for today's video. Important. I am going to discuss some more MCQs based on general grammar. Maybe uh, noun base, tense base, or any adjective, any aspect of English grammar. You know that I have discussed each and every aspect of English grammar. English grammar, jitni bhi uh, uske aspects hai, parts of speech and tenses and detail ke saath mein aapne is channel pe discuss kar chuka hon. Especially jo ETA ke students hai, jo abhi aage medical engineering mein test mein appear honge, unke liye mukammal package. Everything is there on my channel. Main usme main MCQs, uh, ye baar baar ye aap se baat karta hon. Main repeat isli kar raha hon. There are maybe some new subscriber, new students who are making preparation for ETA. ऐसे कोई स्टूडेंट्स हो सकते हैं जिन्होंने अभी सब्सक्राइब किया हो तो उनके लिए मैं अपना प्रोसीजर अपना प्रोसेस बताता हूं कि फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू वॉच माय वीडियो डिटेल वीडियो ऑन ग्रामर बेसिक इंग्लिश ग्रामर पार्ट्स ऑफ स्पीच एंड देन यू विल कम टू माय ईटा एंटी सीरीज फॉर प्रैक्टिस ऑफ एम सी क्यूज बिकॉज आई हैव डिस्कस मैनी डिफरेंट वीडियोज इन विच आई डिस्कस डिफरेंट एम सी क्यूज बेस्ड ऑन नॉन बेस्ड ऑन नॉन बेस्ड एम सी क्यूज एजेक्टिव बेस्ड एम सी क्यूज पर नॉन बेस्ड एम सी क्यूज मैनी प्रपोजिशन Uh, many MC, uh, videos based on uh, preposition based MCQs. तो बहुत सारे जो एस्पेक्ट्स हैं उनकी प्रैक्टिस के लिए मैंने मुख्तफ वीडियो रिकॉर्ड कर चुका हूँ मेरे चैनल पर मौजूद है आप अगर ईटा के टेस्ट में अपील होना चाहते हैं तो मैं ये गारंटी कर सकता हूँ कि आई हैव अ कम्प्लीट पैकेज फॉर योर प्रपरेशन क्वालिटी प्रपरेशन एंड दिस माई गारंटी दैट एज रिगार्ड ग्रामर बेस्ड एम सी क्यूज ग्रामर बेस्ड पोर्शन ऑफ योर ईटा पेपर आई कैन गिव यू A hundred percent guarantee because I have discussed each and every aspect of English grammar in detail, and then uh, for practice, I have discussed different MCQs. And then uh, vocabulary based MCQ, there are more than fifteen videos based on vocabulary. I have discussed synonyms, antonyms, confusing words, synonyms and antonyms at the same time. So everything is there on my channel. What you are supposed to do? First, watch my video about that particular topic, and then come to ETA and T series for the practice of MCQs. So today is another video which is based on grammar. You have to assess yourself. What's the, the your concept? If your concept is not clear, you can watch my detailed video or you can ask questions. So let's get started for some more MCQs. MCQ number one. I dash tennis every Sunday morning. Options are: I play tennis, I playing tennis. Or I am playing tennis every Sunday morning. Now, वैसे मुझे पता है कि ये इतना मुश्किल एम सी क्यू नहीं है बट माई फोकस इज ऑलवेज बीन ऑन कॉन्सेप्ट अगर आप कहते हैं कि इसमें प्ले आता है तो वाई वट इज द रीज़न इफ़ यू आर कैपेबल ऑफ टेलिंग द रीज़न इट मीन्स योर कॉन्सेप्ट इज क्लियर अदरवाइज जस्ट क्लियर यहाँ पर ये आता है जी बस ये आता है क्यों आता है बस आता है दिस इज नॉट रीजन इन ऑल सर यू हैव टू टेल द रीज़न So here, I know that your option, your uh, answer may be correct. So here it will be: I play tennis every Sunday morning. Now my question is why? Why have you opted this this option? Why have you chosen this option? Why not I am playing? Why not I uh, playing or I am playing tennis every Sunday morning? So here I play. This is correct. The right option is I play tennis, but the reason is whenever we talk about something you, that you do on daily basis, that's your permanent routine. I have discussed this, these things in detail in tenses. There are for five videos on tenses. I have recorded very detailed videos, structure of tenses, four videos, sorry, so structure of uh, tenses, then sense of the tenses, then application of the, of the tenses. Uh, there are four detailed video your uh, with modern approach your concept will totally be clear if you watch my videos on tenses not that traditional approach ke wo ta te ti chuka not from that point of us tarah jo aam taur pe main tenses padhaye jate hain us tarah main tense maine tense discuss nahi kiye aapka concept clear hoga aapka sense clear hoga aapko tense ki application pata chalegi 
मैंने एक टेंस सीखा है तो हाउ कैन आई अप्लाई दिस टेंस इन माय कम्युनिकेशन इन माय प्रैक्टिकल लैंग्वेज हम इन टेंसेज सारे बड़े के बड़े टेंसेज आते हैं बट वी आर नॉट कैपेबल ऑफ यूजिंग दोज टेंस वी आर नॉट कैपेबल ऑफ स्पीकिंग इंग्लिश विद द हेल्प ऑफ टेंसेज वाई वॉट द रीजन दैट इज द थिंग दैट यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई इवन आफ्टर लर्निंग ऑल द टेंसेज यू नो अकॉर्डिंग टू योर अप्रोच योर ट्रेडिशनल अप्रोच द वे वी बीन टॉट टेंसेज even after learning all those tenses from that study from that methodology we can't speak a single sentence correctly we can't write a single sentence correctly this is the, the reason is that our concept is not clear we don't know the practical application we don't know the sense we don't know the timeline so i suggest you all the people all the uh, new subscribers or all the students who are making preparation for eta for uh, mdk for nts any sort of english test first watch my those videos then uh, come to eta nt series for practice we write or finish i play because whenever we talk about something that we do on permanent basis that is our permanent routine that is our routine life we use simple present tense and then what is the difference between this is a general video i want to just make your concept clear whenever we want to say something about that is our temporary routine that we are doing on temporary basis ephemerally we use present continuous tense i am playing then we can't say that every sunday morning jab hum kehte hain every sunday morning it means ye every always daily frequently often to ye aise adverbs hain jo permanent show karte hain and for permanent action for permanent routine we use simple present tense agar main kehta hu i am playing tennis uh, nowadays it means this is something that i am doing on temporary basis aaj ke liye free hu koi kaam nahi hai main ye kaam kar raha hu whenever you talk about something that is not your permanent routine that is something that is that you are doing on temporary basis then you will use present continuous tense in as regards permanence then uh, you are supposed to use simple present tense this is the difference between simple present or that you traditionally call present indefinite tense and present continuous tense Present indefinite or simple present tense is used for something that's permanent, and uh, present continuous tense is used for something that is temporary, that is not permanent, right? So this is the concept that I want to make clear uh, with the help of this first MCQ, right? I hope that your concept is not clear. The difference between simple present tense and present continuous tense. That is the thing that I want to make clear today. The next one is, sorry, she. come uh, she can't come to the phone she desha bath the options are she having a bath she has a bath she is having a bath now an- another concept that i have already met the difference between simple present tense and present continuous tense this is something else now uh, when we say that she can't come to the phone it is something that's going on at the moment that's not permanent this is temporary एक्शन एट द मोमेंट एक्शन हैपनिंग नाउ इस वक्त जो एक्शन हो रहा है इस वक्त वो फोन नहीं सुन सकती बिकॉज शी इज हैविंग अ बार नाउ वी विल यूज प्रेजेंट कॉन्टीन्यूस टेंस बिकॉज नाउ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट एन एक्शन दैट्स नॉट परमानेंट दैट इज समथिंग विच इज इफेमरल विच इज टेम्प्रेरी नॉट परमानेंट सो इन सच सेंटेंस फॉर द सेंस दैट वे आर वी टॉक अबाउट समथिंग विच इज नॉट परमानेंट वी यूज प्रेजेंट कॉन्टीन्यूस टेंस here the option will be sorry she can't come to the phone she is having a bath because now we are talking about an action that's going on now right now your conception should uh, your concept should be totally clear come to the next one number 3 it days every year in murray again this the same i have told that my point is today to make the difference of two tenses clear विद द हेल्प ऑफ डिफरेंट एम सी क्यूज आप इस तरह के सेंटेंसेज आपके पेपर में मस्ट आते हैं जहाँ पर आपको टेंस ठीक करना होता है वर्ब ठीक करना होता है आपके ईटा के पेपर में इस तरह के ज़्यादा मैक्सिमम सेंटेंस इस तरह के होते हैं देट्स वाई आई एम पुटिंग एम्फेसिस ऑन सच सॉर्ट ऑफ थिंग्स हियर आई इट डेश एवरी ईयर इन मरी इट्स नोट इट इज नोइंग और इट्स नोज अगेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट एवरी ईयर वैन वी लुक एट दिस दिस वर्ड्स एवरी ईयर every you can say again it's showing permanence every year always daily frequently often it means that this word shows 
This word reflects permanence, an action that occurs permanently, daily basis. Every year means har saal. This is something that is permanent. Again, we will use simple present tense. It will be it snows every year in Madhi. It snows every year in Madhi. Again, the right option is snows. Simple present tense. It snows every year in Madhi. Right? Again, the same concept that whenever we talk about something that's uh, that happens permanently, anything that happens permanently. That is, uh, you can say often, always, daily, frequently, we use simple present tense. Now we come to uh, MCQ number four. How many students in your class dash from Lahore? How many students in your class dash from Lahore? Another thing, but the, again, that is tense based. Comes from, come from, comes from, come from. Or coming from. Again, this is uh, a phrase that whenever we talk about uh, something where we want to convey the sense that belong to. This is a phrase that is come from. So here, how many students? We are talking about students. Where do they belong? Then, how many students? Plural. Here we will use come from. How many students in your class come from Lahore? Not comes from, not or coming from, right? Again, this is something that that showed prominence, but uh, with plural noun, subject verb agreement. With plural noun takes uh, this come. If it is a student, then it will be comes. This is again simple present tense that we use s or es with uh, first form of the verb in case of similar noun. Or name, or uh, you can say similar noun, a third person similar pronoun. In such cases, in simple present tense, we use s or es with first form of the verb. So here it is students plural. Then here it will be come from, not comes or or coming from, right? And the last MCQ is babies dash when they are hungry. Babies are crying. Babies cries. Babies cry. Again, there are two things. The first one is subject verb agreement. Plural nouns. Here we will use uh, the similar verb, not s or es, without s or es. Then again, babies are crying or babies cry. This is their routine life. Again, this is something that is the, the part of their routine. Whenever they are hungry, this is something which is prominent. The point is, the point of the day is, I want to make this concept clear: the difference between present continuous tense and simple present tense. What is the difference between these two tenses? When do we use simple present tense and when do we use present continuous tense? What is the difference between these two? So here, uh, whenever they cry, when we say whenever they are hungry, it means that this is something which is prominent. Whenever they are hungry, whenever they are hungry, they cry. Babies cry whenever they are hungry. राइट right? तो ये मेरा आज की जो वीडियो थी सिंपल फाइव एम सी क्यू मकसद मेरा ये कॉन्सेप्ट क्लियर करना था कि आपको प्रेजेंट इंडिफिनेट और सिंपल प्रेजेंट टेंस हम कहते हैं मॉडर्न अप्रोच में मॉडर्न ग्रामर में या प्रेजेंट कॉन्टीन्यूस टेंस में दोनों में क्या फ़र्क है कब हम प्रेजेंट इंडिफिनेट टेंस यूज़ करते हैं और कब हम प्रेजेंट कॉन्टीन्यूस टेंस यूज़ करते हैं वट इज़ द डिफरेंट बिटवीन दीज टू आई विल डिस्कस सम मोर वीडियोज सम मोर MCQ based on grammar because in your ETA paper maximum MCQs are given from general grammar tense based and verb based then preposition based article based uh, active and passive voice narration I have discussed many MCQs already but I will keep on discussing such grammar based MCQs for your quality preparation if you are new on my channel subscribe it right now press the bell icon so that you may get the notification of my coming video and whenever you get a notification watch my video completely for conceptual and effective learning jab bhi aapke samne aapke youtube browser mein aur waise youtube khol ke samne video aayi hoti hai youtube browser to wahan us pe click lazmi kiya kare dekhein last tak dekhein ab aap ek video ek dafa dekhenge uske baad inshallah aap mere videos dekhenge you will keep on watching my videos because you will find the concepts 
माई फोकस इज नेवर बीन ऑन जस्ट क्रैमिंग और जस्ट फोकिंग द थिंग्स सिर्फ एक चीज़ पहुँचाना नहीं है कन्वे करना नहीं है बट आई ऑलवेज वॉन्ट टू मैक यूर कॉन्सेप्ट क्लियर मेरा हमेशा फोकस ये रहा कि आपका कॉन्सेप्ट क्लियर हो आपको चीज़ें समझ आएँ इवन दैन इफ यू हैव एनी एम्बिक्विटी एनी अनक्लियरिटी यू मे आस्क क्वेश्चन योर क्वेश्चन विल ऑलवेज बी वेलकम वेदर एंड आई सजेस्ट दैट यू शुड ऑस्क क्वेश्चन डाउन इन द कमेंट बॉक्स ऑफ माई वीडियोज Keep on watching my videos for conceptual and effective learning. Share with friends. That's all for today. Thank you very much. Allah Hafiz.